No, in the first place, let me say that, you know, it's a fantastic results that we delivered in uh, 2023 with a record uh, cash flow and record margin, um, even in a given environment, which is not that simple. Um, it actually demonstrates the group's resilience, group, group's capability to deliver in a consistent manner. And this has happened primarily because consciously in the last five years, Sangapan repositioned itself into more fast-growing markets, trying to focus more and more on North America, emerging countries, construction chemicals. Second is the core of the whole strategy defined and articulated is all about sustainability, doing everything what we can do to bring more greener and carbon neutral solutions to the market. And the third is the business model, having a local management, empowered management, able to take all the decisions. I think this all gives me confidence that we should, even if the market is going to be difficult, we should continue to do well. Even 2024, I'm confident to have a successful year for Sangapan. Coming to your question, well, you know, we are talking about particularly on Western Europe. It's true that in some countries, we are seeing some signs of trough, but there are some countries it's going to take a little more time. But for Sangaban, the exposure is just 12% in the new construction in the Western European countries. We are very focused on renovation, energy efficient renovation. That's why it should have a limited impact on Sangaban's performance. Okay, I'm looking at a note here from Morgan Stanley recently. They say, you're a great play on renovation across Europe, but you're a cheap play. Your shares are seemingly undervalued. What is it that investors are not seeing, or why are you not telling the story well enough? Uh, you know, I, I take it as a challenge. Uh, it's true that uh, the valuation is still not that great, and I would like to see. But again, everything can be seen in a different perspective. When we started this transformation, we are talking about the share price was 40s, and today we are talking in 70s. So when you look at the trajectory in the last four or five years, it is making the good progress. So we are making a nice progress step by step. And you know, at the end of the day, when the market environment is gloomy, there is always that little bit of a reluctance for the market to go and take that kind of a plunge. So I believe that everything what you're doing is on track. We need to remain focused. We need to deliver in a consistent manner. I think Sangaba has demonstrated his resilience in the last three years by delivering consistently very good performance. I think we just need to do this in 2024, and I'm sure the market will start appreciating and valuing it the way it deserves to be.